Hey, what's going on? All right, 28, 27, 26. All right, this will be 25, card number 25 on the list. Uh, this is the Beta Doppelganger here. So, so this would be higher, um, but it is my last sort of vintage magic card standing. So I think categorically, uh, it doesn't have as much support as like, you know, baseball or Star Wars. And that's kind of a big deal. Um, I'll be curious to see if I, if I can get back to vintage magic if it's if it ever seems to make sense price what price wise relative to other things um you know if i had more money a lot of things would make more sense price wise i would just buy whatever but um but yeah it all has to make sense relatively speaking relative to what other things i could buy relative to what i could sell relative to what other things i need money for in life and relative to what makes the most sense from a just generally um, you know, logical, you know, perspective in terms of what to do. So, um, so yeah, I absolutely love this card. I think it says a lot about it to, to say it's the last card I held on to. Um, obviously condition is, is a uh, lower grade, but I think it has that sort of, uh, patina to it that, um, the white, you know, the, the wear around the borders re really adds a lot of character to the card. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love to have a, an 8 or a 9 or whatever, but it is what it is. It's a piece of, piece of history, um, just one of the most iconic pieces of artwork in Magic, the doppelganger. So I'll be curious to see if I ever snap this out and get it in a PSA case just for continuity's sake, but I don't have any real intentions of doing that right now, but definitely something that could happen down the road, um, but we'll, we'll see So. So yeah, uh, just really, um, I don't know. It's this this and this card and the card we'll see tomorrow is it just it's one of the most interesting questions for me in the hobby, which is like historic verse like ultra modern scarcity could be historic one day type debates that I have internally where I love both so much, but you really cannot unless you have. Uh, you know, a, a lot of money. You can't just do both. Um, so I don't know. It's it's like you got to pick and choose. And the prices for these types of cards is usually so standardized that it doesn't feel like there's like huge drops to where it like feels like a super opportunistic moment. Um, it's more just about like committing to it and. Uh, moving forward but then with the ultra modern stuff it's like you either do it now or, you, or it's gone when they are priced like attractively so so i don't know always a challenge but i love it it's what, one of the things i love about the hobby i love decision making and st strategy and self-management and all these types of things so so yeah uh with all that being said appreciate you stopping by and we'll talk to you again later take it easy